welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to make these easy holographic coasters without having to make the moulds or having to buy the moulds which can be quite expensive and this one is just a prototype that I did but I'm also going to play around with it a little bit as well to see the different effects that we can get. Now before I do anything else what I have to do is create a base for these holographic coasters and I'm going to be using three different colours plus a clear one. Now I've put a lot of fine glitter in that one. In this one there's black mica powder because obviously I love mica powder and I love glitter. Who can't do with all the sparkly things? So making sure that's in there and now I'm using a white titanium pigment colour. I just want to say an awesome thank you to all my members. The membership is growing really well. We've got a great competition going on for August and the winners are going to win bottles of resin. So thank you guys and I'm looking forward to seeing your entries. If you want to become a member of my channel then the link for that is in the description below. Always make sure that you pop your bubbles first because you want to be getting rid of those and use a long neck lighter not a torch. You don't want to be burning the mould and the resin and I'm using the J-Diction times 3 UV resin for this. These are all cured now and for the next stage what I'm going to do is take them out of the mould and what I've got here is some vinyl that is transparent vinyl and it's not expensive at all we get loads of sheets with it and all I'm going to do is cut some circles out of this and you can use this in your cricket you can use this in your card making all sorts when you buy the actual holographic moulds, you are restricted only really to make coasters, but you can put this in anything. And I will cut around these, but I will cut inside of my pencil line. So they are slightly smaller than the actual coasters themselves. Now I'm gonna put these on the sides like that. And if I need to trim them up afterwards, I can. All I gotta do is run a knife through them. And the easiest way to put these on without getting any air bubbles or anything like that is first of all, peel back your backing like that. And then when you've got it halfway open like that, all I'm going to do is with some clear soapy water, just give the coaster a little bit of a spray. Put that on like that. Then take that right the way off. Line that up without putting it right the way down. And then I'm using a scraper like this to scrape from the center out. Okay. That'll allow you to get that down without any creases or air bubbles. And then I go over with a paper towel and push out any of that excess water that, that's there. And look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, that is pretty. And that's how you can use these. Now, with the normal, with the coasters and things like that, if you put resin on top of that, I believe you actually lose the final finish. Now we are going to put a clear coat of resin on top of these once they are completely st stuck down and that's fully dry. Look how pretty that one comes out. So I'm going to finish off doing the rest. I'll show you what they look like before I pour the next layer of resin. And these are all ready for me to put the next layer on. Now I'm going to mix the resin up but I'm going to let it thicken up a little bit now to give it a good coating and look how pretty that has come out. I love the white one as well. Almost snow-like. It's almost ice-like and snow-like. The black mica powder one looks good. And the clear one always looks good. Now my advice would be don't actually remove your coasters from your mould before you do this top-up bit. Put the holographic vinyl on them first because that will prevent any resin getting down the sides of the mould. But I wanted to show you what they looked like. Thank you very much to everyone that got me a coffee last month. You enabled me to order my 3d printer i really do appreciate it and now i'm just saving up for some coils and things to put in it if you'd like to buy me a coffee the link for that along with the link to my other channel which you'll really enjoy is in the description below so what i'm doing is i'm putting just enough resin on the top of these 
to ensure that they are fully covered because that way these transfers aren't going to go anywhere they're fully embedded inside these coasters as you'll see in a minute they'll look great pulling up any bubbles popping those bubbles with a long neck lighter and then letting them cure these have all cured up nicely now and they're very hard and firm so let's demold them Always make sure that you put your moulds back into the shape they originally were. That way they're not going to get misshapen and you'll get a longer life and can continue to use them. And there we are. Look at that. You can definitely... It's a shame I got something in the middle of that one that needn't have been there. But never mind. But you can see how beautiful that holographic vinyl is. And because we cut it just slightly smaller than this circle, this isn't going to separate at all because that resin is nicely stuck onto the previous underneath resin. I think this one is my favourite one. Shame I got a little air bubble in it, but there you go. That's because I was rushing it possibly. But I think the black just brings out all the colours. But how pretty that is. And the same with the glitter. I do like looking at the glitter i mean you know me and sparkle and that just gives that that extra sparkle as well and i did another clear one to show you how easy it is to do the clear ones because you could put a photograph at the back of this or inside it or another picture and have it holographic as well and that would come out really well really easily to me this is the much better way of doing it than buying the holographic molds because you've got multi uses you've not got a mold that you can't use for anything else also, with the holographic moulds, once you've made them, if you then cover that bit up with resin, you lose all the holographic effect to it. The other thing is, you can then use this vinyl in your Cricut or in your other crafting projects as well. I think these would sell well. This is a new one to me, so I haven't tested how well these would sell. But if I was to sell a set of these, and obviously I would make them either all in one colour, I would sell these for about £20, $25 do American dollars. Because there's quite a bit of resin in them and there's a bit of work in them as well. And they would look nice. And you could take commissioned orders for these quite easily if you advertise them on your website. Let me know what you think of them in the comments below. I will link at the end of this the playlist for my best sellers videos on how to make money using resin. And the sorts of prices that I sell things at. Don't forget, please boot that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you'd like to buy me coffee or get hold of anything that I've used today, everything that you need is in the links in the description. Take care, enjoy your resin. Bye.